Alright, so we are playing Reversion. Don't ask me why. Just kidding. Alright, so on Inferno Team, we have seconds. Exogen, Psycho Cow, Psylocke, Thane, Momo, Scratchy, Titan Singer, Boot, Larsock, LOL Caps, Domestic, Roto. On Storm Team, we have Soapy, Hybrid, Nems, Saki, NYC, Hexy, Haggis, Stoski, Bouncer, Mr. Fady, History, and FX. All right, like I said, this is reversion. So expect strong farms, strong defense, um, but also a lot of vehicle play on the offense. So if the defense gets loud about how reinforced they are, expect a bomber. Um, if the offense is sort of struggling at midfield, maybe expect a tank. I don't know. It wouldn't be normal, but neither is cloaking on Stonehenge. Neither is elf guns on Quagmire. Neither is playing Quagmire in general. <laughs> We've seen a lot of I exceptions say, tonight. <laughs> I, exactly. I say, you know what? Yeah, let's let's call tanks for this one. I don't know. Um, but I would absolutely 100% part of that. Oh, history just ran over Mr. Fady like a team kill. <laughs> oh, Jesus it. Christ. And it doesn't even list it as a team kill. <laughs> oh. History also runs down Psylocke. And on that note, strikes are an excellent counter to heavy offense. I'm not even trolling right now. They are one of the best counters you can have. If you can engage Ho on the open field, just run him down. Yeah, I imagine we're going to see a lot of strike action today in this map. Yeah, in the pub, that's what Hexy has been doing more of than anything. It's just striking around on vehicle maps. Uh, one thing you should not expect to see is Havocs. Sorry, so. Yeah, not even reversion. Looks like Haggis tried to grab the flag just waltzing in with medium. It's kind of interesting, like almost like a base maneuver. Um, they have Psycho Cow as oh my on God. the flag. Tank. There's a tank? That's right. Momo and Roto are in a tank. It's almost like I know this game. <laughs> I bet Soap is kind of jealous. Oh, the tank is taken. <laughs> Yeah, this, this map is going to have so much vehicle play, it's not even funny. Definitely. Uh, vehicles are the only viable avenue for the offense, because the out-of-bound grid is also fairly close behind the base, I think, although I'm not seeing it. Um, yeah, front and back grabs aren't really all that viable, certainly not all that fast, not when you have a V-pad that close to the defense. So you've pretty much got to grab from behind, which means you're mostly going to be seeing if not V grabs directly, then uh, V supported grabs. I definitely hear that. And if there's any caps, it's probably going to be back front and yeah, vehicle supported for sure. Yeah, and I, I don't really have a good way of like casting that yet. But what I mean is that if you jump out of a vehicle, your speed is capped to 180 kilometers an hour. Even if your strike is going 360, if you jump out, you, the player, will be going 180. So what you want to do is not jump directly out of the Shrike into the flag. You want to jump out of the Shrike down a hill, ski to pick up your speed again, and then grab that way. So that's what I mean by a V-supported or a Shrike-supported grab. I just need to come up with a sexier term for it. We've got a back grab right now, run down by Hexy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I wish I got that just one. Yeah, I mean, defense wasn't even paying attention. EFX is hoeing here. Uh, somebody else is farming. They were looking the other direction. Not even a big deal. Oh, uh, here comes the grab. That's Nims. Nims. Very low health. Um, surprised he's not taken out yet, but some chains. He is taken out by Larslock. Let's not get too far here. Again, th yeah, this is going to be another map where I think Coronation is really going to play a key factor. Yeah, I agree. And uh, decent. Try to pick up there. Um, stubbed his toe a little bit. Mm, that was a pick up and a drop from Soapy. Not sure if he had any support there. Currently watching Thane just strike it down. Be a lot of strike action. Yeah, and um, what you said about coordination, I think, is spot on. One thing I would pay really close attention 
too is if a team is not running a Hoff, the timing of a return can be really dangerous. So if they get it out to midfield and all of the LD are chasing and they return it, that flag is still vulnerable to a Shrike grab from the Hoff. History is yeah. out. Very good health, three quarters health, hardly anything hitting him, and he gets body blocked by one of his teammates. That's always good to see. Um, yeah, quarter health. He did pass it off. He should have support. He almost threw it to an enemy, but uh, history is able to pick it up and is taken out instantly. Uh, yep, and they do have a pickup. Bouncer has the flag right now. Disc jumps home. Very low health, but I think they might be all right. Yeah. Storm. Storm on top. Storm. One to zero. Oh, right now he's out clean, very clean. A uh, little bit of chain on him. No snipes. Quarter health. Um, yeah, it should be all right. He takes a little bit of a little nudge there on the terrain. I think that might have been Hex. Yep, Hexy chains him out. Hexy jumped out of the Shrike and just took him right out. Domestic now with the flag, has half health. Back on Inferno side, he should be able to cap this as a rebuttal. As long as nothing goes too wrong, he steps on a mine and Psycho Cow is able to cap. <laughs> I would not have thought reversion of all maps would be a shootout. I figured this would have been a bit more of a stalemate. Yeah, me too, to be honest. But I, it, I suppose it makes sense considering the Cavers have such a distance to go that like one side is always going to trounce the other before a standoff happens. Yeah, and this is a hard map to chase on. Like I said, the Cavers should be going faster than the LD, even with the DJs. And with this kind of fog, it's kind of hard to improvise a route after a double DJ as well. So it oh, just yeah. slows the defense down even further. So if you don't get intercepted by a vehicle, your capper really ought to make it home if he's got routes. Um, I'd also like to point out the 5D chess going on on Team Storm's base. Um, yeah, so there's back grab coming in right now, breaking off. But they have a Hoff. They also have a Cloak Loth. History might be setting up for another cab here. Storm. Yeah, that Shrike supported grab. Oh, oh, here he goes. Bam. Oh, body blocked on the Spider Clan. Yeah, good place for a Spider Clan right there. I think it was a good call to have Psycho Cow go off on this. Yeah, it's always good to have a Hoff on a map like this. Like, if a if a base is already fairly defensive in nature, it's usually better just to go ahead and double down and Hoff that. This is also really well protected from spam. So yeah, Hoff's a great option. Do you think we'll see anything in the line of uh, base rate on this map? Uh, Storm base went down earlier uh, as history was capping. I didn't get to announce it because history was capping. Uh, Accident at the flag was taken out. Storm flag in the field. And that's a return. Interesting to see so many fresh faces. Definitely some uh, veteran players and some more casual players. It's good to see overall. I agree. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get people in game here. Oh, no worries. I appreciate you. Ozzy said that he uh, he dropped off his CB radio stuff to, to play, and he's stuck in Observer, unfortunately. Hmm. So we just 
the person in. I'm pinging Sarah, pinging Daryl, trying to get some some extra folks. And base is down on Storm's side again. So I don't, I'm not sure who's taking the base down. But that's a grab by... Who is that? Oh, it looks like NYC and Storm. Uh, from Storm Team took down the... Oh, wait, no. He's a repair. He is repairing. Or at least trying to beat up. I think there is actually a cloaker inside the Storm base. No, not I think you're right. Momo just ate a face full of plasma. Scores. Yeah, and that's a good job out. I think Bouncer was on Storm. I could be wrong there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Storm. Like NYC now opting to put out some motion sensors to stop any cloaking attempts from happening. Good call. Oh, we got Ozzy in. Awesome. I guess I missed that. Good. Sarah is out with friends because he doesn't understand that tribes are better than friends. Yeah. Life priorities, man. Tribes with friends. Always. Or tribes with friends, that's always the best. Yeah, especially during a pandemic, Sarah. I hope they all got vaccinated. Some shit. Uh, Domestic is out from the looks of Ooh. it. Ooh. It's the app run down. Man, some taunts going on there, adding insult to injury there. There was almost a pickup there from Exogen, but he was dissed down by Bouncer. Oh, yeah, this is going to be low scoring vehicle map. Well, you said it. That wasn't a yawn. I'm not yawning. It's a that was compelling a game. Come on, let's be honest here. No, it's good that we're playing, that they're playing this map. I think it's like, if we're celebrating Tribes 2's 20th anniversary, might as well be playing this map. <laughs> I feel like that's why I we're agree. seeing all the weird maps. I agree. It's just that I got so overwhelmed playing Halfpipe, and then I got so bored watching, um, Quagmire, and now this. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how to feel. My heart is all over the place. Or, yeah, this is all over the place. Yeah, it looks like Bogo wants to join in. I think he was someone who was uh, on the Reddit earlier and, and like joined in and was surprised that people were playing. I think you're right. I don't remember if that was him or somebody else with a very similar name. But that seems to be happening a lot. Also, um, Sarah's suspiciously out with friends and definitely not being Hunter Girl 10. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> well, to be fair, I mean, like, I don't know if he would also smurf in Discord, but he's, like, in Discord twice, he's Hunter Girl. Also, LOL Caps, I don't think you can pilot a strike with a repair pack on your back. Shot spot. Yeah, you can. No, only if you're hacking. No, it just can't be a deployable. No, he so, he, lear he literally couldn't jump into a strike because he had a repair pack or a uh, deployable inventory station on his back. Oh, you said repair pack. Yeah, I realize that now. I'm drunk. That's my excuse. I'm drunk! That's fair. I am also drunk because we're playing Reversion. I think NYC might actually be listening in this. Why would he be saying that? Nice run down LL caps. Now, you should go and cap. Yeah? Yeah? You wanna go cap, caps? If, he, if he's stream sniping, then that's that's super messed up. Shine bot! I mean, I don't know why NYC would be doing that. But he would be a jerk. Because you Northeasterners cheat. We covered this back on Halfpipe. What? Talking about Bella cheat. Yeah, at the Flategate. 
You believe in that shit? Deflate gate? Uh, there's there's so many things. What? What else did they do, huh? I don't know because I don't give a shit about sports. <laughs> sports ball. Yeah, me neither. Decided to to sell my soul for tribes too instead of sports. You know. So why things are we, I can make why friends are we, with. Why are we casting this then? We're not sports casters. I think we're casting this because we're not sports casters. We can't do popular sports, so we have to find tribes too and latch onto that instead. Come on, LL Caps, get a touchdown. Oh, nice freaking missile, dude. That was a touchdown. Oh, and LL Caps going straight from a missile shot of a strike to a cap. If he can. Oh, never mind. I guess he wasn't going the right way. Lols, Caps. I'm drunk. Yeah, hell yeah. Shout out to being ah. drunk. Being drunk. So good. What are you drinking? I'm drinking a spring IPA. Uh, I am drinking Shiner Bach, Texas's own, maybe. Is it like a Belgian style or something? I don't know. I'm, I'm not interested in beer either. NYC with the grab, and he goes right inside the enemy base. And he flies right over the hop's head and is taken up, I think. A for effort, though. I think that we should be able to pick the tiebreaker maps. <laughs> you have floated this idea before. And I think I said face crossing every time, but I'm thinking... Oh. Uh, I just I feel like think... this is another one of Booth's boats, I think, right here. Yeah, so it sounds like it's Good not a big map. Shout out to Tapakega Brew. Tap through. That must be. Is that Alabama or Georgia? It sounds like the name of a fraternity who wants to admit, like, yeah, we're just a bunch of folks. <laughs> yeah, they're from Texas, actually. Oh, are they? That sounds like some East Texas bullshit to me. <laughs> what type of beer is it? Shiner Bach. That was the beer. What are you talking about? To so everyone on stream, this is uh, Space Pants or Heat. He is another person who used to cast tribes back during draft tournaments and stuff. He's like the one responsible for like half of what you see right now on the screen. <laughs> he also has a sweet ass uh, combustion mic, I mean compression mic. Oh my god. <laughs> You're not going to get like thrown out of your clan of DJs and casters and everything for insulting audio equipment. No. I mean, I hope not. No. <laughs> it's nice to uh, have you on, though. Grace us with your presence, Mr. Space Pants. Oh, right now, Haggis with the flag going uh, should pack medium and deciding to go through the base. I was like, I'm kind of wondering if someone would do that. A little bit of a spider clamp farm inside, and he is taken out, and the flag is returned by LL Caps. So many interesting base like tactics that you use on this map. I'd like to point out that Sophie was shining a targeting laser on top of his own base, and Super Bitch crashed a shrike trying to run him down and failing. <laughs> it almost sounds like. Only I was gonna say, it almost sounds like we're uh, playing Miami vehicles or Houston vehicles or something. Dude, I miss those days so much. Shout out to those old servers. Shout out to uh, Elite Warriors Online, EWO, for providing me some great base times, although I hated the game type. Shout out to History getting caught in V-pad spawns. <laughs> I just saw that too. Yes. <laughs> Oh man, I, I should start casting this game again instead of reading my Shiner Bach bottle, trying to figure out why Heat knows more about the beer in my hand than I do. I'm ashamed. <laughs> I'm disgraced as a man. Shut down. Respect your elders, kids. Oh, I thought he was telling us what beer he was drinking, too. Or That's what I thought. If it turns out to be the same type, that'd be pretty funny. Well, I think he was 
giving the name of the brewery. Wow, this is Ooh. a solid all caps against a Ooh. full hand, too. That was a lull it's caps grab if I ever saw one. Miss. Jesus Christ. Oh. oh this run down by hybrid. A for effort, though. Pretty, pretty understandable anger. Psylocke with a pickup. This jumps off a mine in the field. Just terrible luck. Storm flag is still out in the field. There's a few storm players oh. around supporting it. And ooh, pick up from Exogen. Yes. You just need to work your way back home, buddy. Hopefully you have some support. Yeah, Storm Team was trying to coordinate the return. There's a Shrek behind out. you, buddy! Okay. Oh, no! That's coming home. There's no way. No, it's not! Uh, oh. Yeah, I... Yeah. Return oh, by history. Man. Exogen should have turned around and tried to mine to set Shrek. That would be clutch. But that was A for F... Wow. I thought that he was almost home. He was literally in the midfield. This, oh my god, this map is too big. <laughs> yeah, it's a big map. It's so much effort. And I think that's why it's so frustrating for the cappers, is that, like, Lol Caps did so many things right. He dodged three snipes, grabbed on a full stand, and he's rewarded with another 600 meters before he gets home. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. And then you know what's going to happen? He's just going to get shrugged down right before he gets home. Yeah, you're gonna get run over by a buggy hitbox strike. Like, yeah, that's it's a unsatisfying gameplay. I can understand. Ah, Space Grant saying that Tapa Keka Brew was a tribe that he was in. <laughs> oh, I see. Most were Texas guys. Cool. Well, Shoutouts to Tapa Keka Brew. I love that name. Tap a keg a brew. Come on, Caps. I, I believe in you. Do, do the fast route thing. I know you can do it. I like APAs. It kind of leaves a little bitter taste in your mouth, like a hopsy taste. Oh, here it comes. Doing a little bit of self-clearing. I think he might have been trying to cowboy that a little bit. Instantly this down by Saki. Maybe they were coordinating that, I'm not sure. Yeah, I agree with Space Pants. LL Caps needs to Good use God. CC and wait for clearance. Yeah, that seems to be a recurring theme through the night. Not Law Cap specifically, but recognition is the answer to all of Offense's problems. Yeah, like a lot of but, people trying to cowboy, where it, it works in pubs, but not so much in competitive play. Yeah, and the real shame is that because this is such a vehicle-oriented map, it's much easier to just sort of decide, yeah, I'm going to grab the flag now, because you can just hover out of bounds in your strike for as long as you need to. You're not timing a circular route or anything. And then you might get bored just like hovering there in the air and thinking that you're not contributing at all, where it's like, really? It would probably be better winning a little bit. Yeah, and granted, there is definitely a trick when you've got Shrikers as talented as Hexy just sort of sharking around the map looking for for Shrikes hovering. <gasps> There's a Havoc! There's a Space Bus! God damn it, where is it? God. Who, who had the Space Bus? God damn it, my Observer HUD! Team, do you know? Uh, I think it was Inferno, but I'm not sure. I'm just... All right, there's a bomber, but uh, where's the havoc? Solid grab by History on the Hoff, looking the wrong direction. He's out clean. What would normally be, oh uh, yeah, picked off by Titan Slinger. It's a good shot. A uh, bomber looks like it's either supporting or attacking this flag nice. in the field, and returned by nice. Roto. Yeah, it looks like Thane and Momo are bombing right now, going into a bottom run on the storm flag. I can think of no better way to utilize a resource like Thane. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, it looks like the bomber's being shriked down right now. Aww. A Hexian attack. I'm just very glad that they did that to give us a little bit of action. 
Ah, oh, freaking observer HUD. Oh, I see Exogen lining up a route. Hopefully he's going in with a little bit of support. Come on, buddy. You got this. Oh, he's got a just missed the flag, though. Spiked down by Sobe. Ah, Hexy missed the ram. Oh, uh, caps with the gonna ram. Be able to turn around. Good pick up at quarter field there by uh, who is that bouncer? Indeed. Well, I'm glad I've been somewhat vindicated um, because I was surprised by the speed of the caps at the beginning, but this is more the normal pace for uh, reversion of my opinion. It's definitely, it's playing like Tribes 2 base where, I mean, it's a base map, so it makes sense that it's a very defense heavy map. And the gameplay is a little bit slower paced than normal. I would say this is not how most typical classic maps play. Usually it's very O slanted and it's usually very high paced. This is a lot about a coordination, much like Quagmire, very base like. Yeah, Psycho Cow opting to hop again and put up a few turrets to act as little. Uh, Speed bumps for the cappers. Thanks! Mouse trapped. Looks like Inferno base is down again. Five. I think it's always just one person going in and taking care of the base when no one else is looking. That's one thing, uh, there's just a lot of area in this map to, uh, to keep track of at one time. Nice mortar spam from Haggis, but he's quickly taken out. Looks like he was aiming right for the flag stand. And a little bit of coronation there, because now the cappers are coming in. But it looks like they're not able to get very far with that uh, occluded flag stand. Watching NYC doing some hello duty, just kind of... Uh, joining the fray, mixing up the beehive a little bit. Hopefully causing distraction for a capper to come in and grab the flag here. Picked up by history, but lots of support there from Inferno and instantly taken out. So let's look at the flag stats really fast. Uh, right now it looks like Inferno has picked up around six more times than Storm and has dropped the flag seven, seven more times than Storm. Um, wow, Storm has a lot more kills than Inferno, but uh, that could be what it's coming down to, to be honest, but honestly, it's just, it's a slag. This map is a slag, for sure. Yeah, and I could also see that being a result of a shift in strategy. Because this is such a defense-oriented map, turtling can be really, really effective. Or not turtling, but sort of V-stacks. Mm. Because Storm got up early, they can now focus on defense, whereas Inferno uh, has to stretch out, go O, and then get killed, sort of battering against the rocks of Team rock. Storm's defense. And so that would lead to uh, an overrepresentation for uh, Team Storm's kills, kill board. I hear that. That makes sense for sure. Oh, such a bummer, too. So that means Inferno has to crack Storm's defense then. 60 seconds. Oh, can they get one more cap on the books to tie it up in one minute on this map? Oh, not with that flag going inside. If they don't return this and just get inside the base, this is practically game over. But Inferno is all out rushing this thing. There's three people crashing the flag stand right now, all falling apart. Uh, whoa. 
out a map, so that means that storm would win this hug here. Oh, oh, this crab on the outside and a backlance by Saki. Ten seconds. M A M D. Four short red shifter. Five, four, three, two, one. Victory. Time was good. No 